he's got a third kit here that plays it safe, but I think being a Bayern Munich fan, you're going to buy a kit nonetheless. And now buying the red kit or the way kit, or even the third kit this season, you've got a lot of choices. As, as a football fan, I think this one does represent a bit more on the training kit or anything a bit more relaxed. But funny enough, it is actually their third kit. And you know, it grew on me. It took me a few sort of looks at it to actually fall in love with its design. It does draw inspiration from the sort of eSports, eGamer world because recently we saw that FIFA did release their own kits. Um, United had that terrible, terrible green one, but a few of the other teams had their own versions. And I think when it comes to a modern design, the material is really lightweight, but the design itself does play a big part in the way kits will be made in the future. I think the way the print is made, the color, the fade away in the tone and just the fabric itself is really important to notice that because you know, you look at a lot of kits and we've got some sort of fadeaway material or United kit this year, the home kit has a bit of a, you know, DNA attachment to the badge. But I think this one goes beyond then, you know, just the stitching. But I think the material and the printing is a big player in this kit. Now, as always, I really love a monochromatic or, you know, just the one tonal badge manufacturer sort of Holy Trinity. I'm gonna call that from now on. So if I say Holy Trinity, you know exactly what I mean. The team mobile sponsor is really simple and I really like that they've gone for the simple, elegant design rather than having all the fonts at the bottom. But I really like this and I really love how it's gone black and white with their logo. Now, noticing the diamond shape, and again, I'm not gonna pronounce the German way of pronouncing that sort of design, but I can see that in the design itself. And of course, knowing Allianz Stadium does have that glowing effect with the red. And I did notice that at the second look that I saw that's what the kit represents. Now the pattern itself doesn't go around to the back, but you do have the iconic Mia Samia at the back of the shirt. I haven't seen anything to do with the numbers or the way the design is as of yet. So please correct me if they have been released as of this video. But again, overall, really simple kit. There, there isn't much that you can do to this to make it a lot more sort of, you know, better in many ways, but I think they've done a great job and I give this a three out of five. Now, a few final tips I would definitely like to say about this kit if you are going to buy it. It's a dark kit, so again, when it comes to wearing it with any sort of outing attire, whether it's jeans or just trackies, this is a really nice kit. Being a black kit, it can go with anything. But again, I think when it comes to this kit, simple and I like it. So yeah, check this one out. And as always, this kit was supplied to me today by Ultra Football. If you are interested in this kit or any other kit that I review, whether it's new or old release, please check them out in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like below, comment, share, anything you want. And if you've got any tips for me or any other things you want me to look out for in future kits, please like let me know. I'm happy to do that for you. Again, this video is nice and short. I really want to try and get a bit more out there and less sort of wasting your time. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay safe and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.